Oh, whoops. Well, you know what? Honestly, folks, that's a big old mind bad on that one. Hey there, folks. This is what we are doing here today. Yep, it is another episode of Oops All Millennias, and wouldn't you know it, we sure do love our suffering, don't we? Anywho, yeah, we're going to get right into it. We're going to do the best that we can and absolutely crush this randomizer as best as possible because, gosh, diddly darn it, folks, we need to be done. <laughs> I'd actually just, I'd really like to move on to, like, the next big challenge, I think, at this point, but... That being said, more excitement, more fun, more stupidity, all the wonderful things in this world, all combined, all together. Yep, we're going to get right back into it. Last time we left off, I was at a loss for words and locations, and I, you know, honestly, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's been rough, to say the least. Uh, we are really struggling to find anything new at this point in time. But, that being said, I mean, I'm pretty excited to say, I think, I feel like we might have some rough ideas. We'll, we'll see what happens here. It's potentially maybe an option that things might get a little bit better for us. Hey there, Star. How you doing? Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and I guess get right down to it. Hey, how sweet, a Melaniac just went ahead and committed Sudoku for us. Awesome. My favorite. Okay. Right. So, let's go ahead and kick things right off. If I'm not mistaken, there might actually be some key items over here. Here's what... Well, actually, shit. I don't want to do that, because... Oh, no, actually, never mind. I can remove markers when it comes down to it. So there might be something over here, if I'm not mistaken. Um, there's also some shit that's more towards the upper side up here, which I don't know if I missed it or what, but it's potentially maybe that there might be something up here. We'll, we'll have to see. Um, I don't really want to go check it, though, because it seems incorrect as far as it stands. Another location I think I actually missed on is there is actually something I might not have checked still inside of Godric's castle. Um, there's a very particular thing, the wet blade in this case. We're just going to go do it real quickly because it's already on the top of my mind. So we're just going to go right for it. See what happens. Worst case, again, I'm wrong. And it's another location off of our list of <laughs> everything that we've had to check so far. Is there a faster way over to the location that I'm talking about right now? Not particularly. Hmm. I think in this case, our fastest route is technically going back to the front. Did I already go to Moon, uh, Moonlight Rise? No, I did not. I was doing a little bit of thinking about it, and I thought that there were some other locations that could potentially be what we need. Also, hey Mamba, how you doing today, bud? Good seeing ya. So, we're just going to do the mad dash through this area as best as we can right now. Hopefully get away with it. Of course, Melania and all of her infinite wisdom loves to murder us on the spot. You know, it's funny. I was thinking about a video format for this one, and it literally came down to... <laughs> video formatting the entire last episode was just nothing but pure unadulterated just unadulterated hatred for this playthrough so I was like I don't really know what else could really happen on that one it <laughs> it was it was rough like I I was I won't lie I was not exactly stoked on life with uh with the other stream the other night I'm doing good, though, man. I'm doing good. I'm fine. I'm breathing well. Okay. So we're going to get this side of grace real quickly. It doesn't really matter too deeply to do that in the first place, but there is one key item check uh, over this way, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, we're just going to run right on down, right over here. go. First drop. Depends on the weapon you have out, but I believe you can get faster drops by doing what I just did there. I believe that to be the case. Okay, well... I mean, that's useful in certain contexts of things, but not really that useful, is it? 
Ah, uh, uh, okay. Well, I mean, it's it's checked. You know what? It's checked. And I only have 13k on me right now, so I'm not really burnt over losing 13k. Where's Donkey Kong? You know what? That's a really good point. I'm terribly, terribly sorry. We put him away uh, for the time being, but I had... I just... I didn't bring him back out. That's a my bad. Hopefully somebody subscribes or... Uh, or or wants a dono because that is the way to get him out right now in this case unless unless we want to take a short break I can get him back out I didn't do anything to him I told him to take the day off he he deserves a break every now and again Mamba. uh he deserves a break he he works very hard he's a very hard working monkey <laughs> Is there a better one from here? Is this better? This might be better. I certainly hope it's better. I was wrong. It was actually somehow significantly worse. Alright, in that case, I guess let's start from right here. Nah. In this case, Mamba, we could probably break him back out. Um, I'm just kind of trying to reformat the screen and everything to a certain extent. And... Um, as at least I, as at least you can see right now, um, the chat box has just recently been added to the stream. But I also want to be able to format that in as well as have DK on screen. I'm thinking at some point or another here we might follow some formatting from other, like I've seen some formats from uh, from streamers where they basically have it. So the stream, um, like the screen size itself, is actually smaller. Grand scheme of things. But they're able to fit the entire screen in without having any intrusions on the screen. And also have the dono box and also have the gimmick gimmick and everything on screen. I don't know if that's what we're gonna do, but it's I'm oh my god, really? Torrent, we're starting off nice and fucking stupid today? Come on. It's an option at least, right? It's an option. So if I'm not mistaken, there should be some shit over this way. God, it'd be really nice to be able to look at my screen. Like, look at my map, in this case. It's a little unfortunate that there's just an infinite supply of Melania's on screen right now. Golden Rune. Okay, a church. So maybe there is something over here. Actually, I don't think I've ever been over here before. Huh. Like, this is new to me. Yeah, this is actually new to me. It's funny, though, because I'm not seeing anything of relative importance right now. It would be nice if there was something of relative importance, but so far, no. Ugh. Okay, alright. Come on! Please? Can I, like, just find one fucking great rune? Alright, cool. Alright, I guess that's another area down off the list. There's a gravesite over here. A gravesite that costs? I don't really feel like doing it. No important sense, no axolotls. You know what? Fair enough. That's that's reasonable. No axolotls is a pretty big crime. Okay. All right, well, at least I can mark this area off as just something that's completely useless. Um, all right, let's pretend for a minute here that I can already get inside um, into the moonlight. I don't know if the moonlight has any like key item checks. 
If it does, great, awesome. Like that would be amazing news. If it doesn't, then I seriously we're 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 hitting a brick wall. And uh, I hate to say it, chat, but that brick wall pretty much entails us having to cheat at that point. Because I like I'm I'm at a loss for words, honestly. Like it's it's getting to a point where there is no forward progression available to us. It's gonna be like the dumbest fucking check humanly possible too. It's gonna be something that I would never ever check in like a million years because normally it's like, why would you actually ever go there? That's stupid. But it is possible that this could be the area. I don't know why this would be the area, but it's possible. I don't I don't believe we can get anything too important here. Then again, I feel like I've already done this before and I feel like I've already had that issue. Oh my god. Please, could you fucking stop, Melania? Like, who sat there and asked? You know, who reasonably sat here and just went, yeah, definitely. You can, you can forgive me cheating if I post dog pics. Is that all it takes? I mean, shit. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> At that rate, that, that's pretty easy. I'll do that. <laughs> I'll do that any day of the week. Gladly post pictures of my, my favorite dog in the world. Alright, that is useless cash. We love to see it. And by we love to see it, I mean I'm, I'm getting tired of this entire game. And I really wish I had left key items alone. Okay, well that was a, a fucking area. Sure. I mean, floofs are always the correct answer, frankly, as far as it stands. If you don't love a good floof, then, well, I mean, your life is lacking. You gotta love animals. Loving animals is the key to success. Stormhawk Axe. I mean, that would be really cool if, you know, we'd gotten that, like, a while ago, sure. Marvel Tear. Okay, here's the thing. I don't know if I need to do this first, but I'm going to go back to Moonrise Tower. And we're just going to go ahead and make sure that we don't have to hand Melania, I'm sorry, Melania, hand Ronnie over the, uh, the Curse Mark of Death, because I don't think we've done that yet. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that we cover that, because that could be an item check. And if it is an item check, that would be really sad to miss out on it. It would be really funny if we somehow walked ourselves completely into a soft lock. Okay, no, she's already comatose, so no, never mind. Uh, she's already gone. We're fine. Probably. Maybe. Village of Abernomics. Here we go. Cool. All right, let's go. There we go. All right, let's go see Ronnie. Okay. I hate dark... Man! Uh, complaining for no other reason than to complain, honestly, right now. It's fine, though. Nothing new. Ronnie! Time to get wed. It'd be really funny if the entire quest line relied on us getting wed. It'd be funny too if she had some random shit to say about us. Ronnie, give me something nice! Ronnie? 
Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, what are we doing? What are we supposed to do? I'm running out of options. Okay, you know what? I don't. I don't need to. There we go. That's fine. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's totally, absolutely fine that we can't find one single great rune to progress our game along because the game is just too damn goofy for its own good. I mean, obviously, why would we ever want to actually progress the game? Of course, why would we want to progress the game? Who would want to do that when you could just spend your time around a whole bunch of rotting fucking Melania's Blade of Mikola and just have a wonderful time with that instead? Yeah, of course, obviously. It's fine. Totally. Okay. Ugh. Getting rather fucking Chevy Chase in here, aren't I? <laughs> I'm forcing a smile past a whole bunch of just inet rage. It'd be great if things would actually work out for me, but damn it, you know, if it weren't my bad luck, uh, I don't know what else to say about that one. No, it's just my bad luck. That's all. That's all. It's just bad luck. Please. Like, I... I don't even know what to check now at this point, honestly. I really don't. I don't. I, I guess... I guess I'll get a grace that's further up the hill, if anything. See what happens with it, but... This isn't really a very good grace site to be chilling at, is it? Considering it uh, leaves me surrounded. Okay. Okay. So off the top of my head, one thing I guess I could maybe go check is going back this way. Did I? Okay, yeah, no, actually, I never did that because I went in through the other direction, right? Uh, there's the red hot blade, which could maybe be something. So I guess let's go do the red hot blade check and see if that's something. I also have a feeling there's either a church, or there's a seed in Kaled I might have missed. Like, I'm doing what I can not to have to cheat on this playthrough, but honestly, it, it's one of those things at this point. completely ignore the Millennia clones out here. We don't have time for that. We're just going to move along with our day. Very nice. I believe in terms of this castle, there's only one key item check that I've missed. Maybe two. But we're not going to worry about either of those. Not until we've gotten ourselves nice and secured in the castle. Please, get on the thing, do the jump, thank you so much, greatly appreciate it. Frankly, it might be. Like, to a certain extent, it might have been. If I had started that last night, it might have genuinely been faster. Only problem is, at this point, we're already where we are. Like, we've already made it this far in the playthrough. To reset it now would probably be folly. But either way, we're looking for big orange items. With any luck, we'll figure it out soon enough here. There's, I think, a total of two item checks. 
in this castle still. One of them might be right there, if I'm not mistaken. The other one should be right here. That doesn't look like what I'm looking for, though. Okay. All right. Oh, I don't. I don't even know at this point. There's one more item check right up here. Ribeye steak or Hawaiian barbecue? Uh, ribeye steak. Every day of the week. I'm not very much so about, like, um, over, over, well, I say over seasoned, but I am less about super seasoned meat, um, and more about just delightfully delicious meat. Like, if, if the meat just tastes good on its own, it's already winning, in my opinion. Um, if it doesn't taste good until you do something with it, then it's eh, I don't I don't know. Like it's just not my my shtick. Um I don't believe uh, I don't believe that can be something. Why would it okay, there's no way that this is the case, right? I don't know why this would be the case. These aren't supposed to be key item checks, but let's turn these in anyways, because we have them. Okay, yeah, that, that really didn't pay off into anything crazy, so whatever. That's fine. Tell you what, let's go back to table, see if there's any items that are chilling in the uh, the merchant shops that could potentially point us in the right direction. Because any keys might potentially be what we need, so. All right, that's not really any keys in this case, so we're good there. Thops, nothing. Gostock, nothing of importance. Patches. Still nothing of him. You know what? We haven't done um, we haven't done the very first uh area. There's there's one thing that I completely haven't done yet. So we could maybe go do that. No. So the big thing about this randomizer again, and I know I've stated a couple times. But nothing that we should be looking at should require anything more than, like, a key's worth of progression. Um, we shouldn't have to worry about it that deeply. Everything that we go against should be locked only behind, like, one key check, really. There's nothing. There really is, like, nothing, huh? Oh, you know what, actually? I think I had some bell bearings to turn in. Yeah, I did. Abandoned merchant. Still nothing. How did I get this? That's actually really not a bad get at all. That's a really good item. So, I don't know if this would be the case. But we're going to do some magic real quickly here. Hang on. This shouldn't be the case at all. It shouldn't. First and foremost, let's go ahead and buy this. That's actually really, really good. That, and I'll leave the foot where it is. The foot's not important. Uh, 
Where is it? I could have sworn I saw a broken dagger somewhere in one of these shops. You know what? Okay, fair enough. Maybe I was wrong. Huh. Alright. Okay. I am seriously trying to think of where we have to go at this point. It is, it is not... It's just not clear. Ah. No, EG should be very, very dead at this point, if I'm not mistaken. So Ichi shouldn't be providing us anything. Our little hint that we got last time really didn't account for shit. Like, somewhere in Mount Gelmir could genuinely be like almost anything, frankly, as far as it stands. All right, you know what? You know what? All right, I know it's not awesome. We're just going to go ahead and do it, though. I'm sorry, chat, but it it is hitting that time frame of, like, we have really... <laughs> we have run ourselves ragged, <laughs> and we're just going to go ahead and do what we need to do to progress the game along at this point, because this is ridiculous. Um, And I'm just going to keep it in mind from now on in the future that if we do anything like this, we just basically need to not goof around, I guess. Uh, like, turning on turning on the randomizer settings for key items was very, very stupid in this case. So we're just going to go ahead and do what we need to do and make the difference up. Okay, there we go. Interesting. There's two versions of Godric's Great Rune? Well, either way, we're going to go ahead and take one of those real quickly. Oh, look at that, Chad. Oh, wow. Wow, we found it. Woo, yippee. <laughs> we found the Great Rune. It's crazy. It was just, it was right there the whole time. You'd never guess. <laughs> uh... Like, I, I don't like having to do that, frankly. It really is not awesome. But this has definitely been, like, the run from hell to a certain extent. Just, we've we've really had to work for everything and anything right now. And, like, it's, it's fun. It just could be more fun, you know, not having to worry about that. So, anyhow. Uh, let's lower our armor quality if we can here... I mean, I know we have the one flask shard that pretty much allows us to do whatever with it. Also, when did we get the extra pouch? I don't even remember when we got that. Like, I'll take it. That's that's cool and everything, but yeah. Huh. Odd. Uh, yeah, I guess let's do that. Sure, why not? There we go. I mean, the all millennia part of the run has definitely been difficult, to say the least. But it's really just been the everything else. Like, that has been the struggle. Because this was supposed to be any percent, frankly, as far as it stands. And it's just not been able to be any percent whatsoever. Because the run has just been 
completely gone sideways. Like, it's it's not been straightforward. So. That's a lot of runes to level up at this point. Kind of crazy. Anywho. Capital Rampart, here we come. Let's move along with the game, shall we? Please tell me this works. I would hate to find out that it just didn't work for some reason. <laughs> I could I could very easily imagine that being the case. But at the same time, no. I don't need that. Alright, so we're going into the capital with a plus 8 greatsword. We have relatively decent talismans. The one talisman I could probably change out would be this one right now. Because it doesn't really vibe with this build at all. Um, honestly, I'm tempted to do maybe like max stamina increase. Everything else here is kind of not really doing me many favor. Actually, never mind. We just got done getting this, didn't we? That is a really good talisman. I'm going to send this down just to be safe. Anyways, finally... As much as it sucked, we can progress through the game again. We'll actually make some distance happen. I'm still awfully terrified of things like that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They what? They tickled me twice? Oh my god, Melania, please. You don't need to do that every time. Alright, we're gonna get the set of grace, and I'm gonna go for the skip. Fuck it. I like skipping anyways, and... Oh, wow. Okay, first try. Okay, cool. We're on our way. Nice. Funny enough, the tree, in this case, where normally is a pretty darn big issue, I don't think it's actually going to be much of an issue at all for us. Like... There's probably going to be a lot of things in the capital that'll actually be relatively straightforward, for the most part, as far as it stands. Also, where's the Melania that's supposed to be here? Huh. Okay, I mean, I'll take it. Sure, why not? I'd be really mad if this thing... Okay, cool. <laughs> I was just going to say, it's not possible for that to be anything other than that little effigy, but it would have been quite maddening. Alright, good news is she can't climb, as far as I can tell you. Okay, there we go, and we're on our way. So, Chad, I haven't really thought about it too, too much, but there's probably a couple different things that have come to mind, at least, on what I'm probably going to do next. Um, one of the things that does come to mind that we'll probably start setting up for soon enough here is going to be our next cycle of the no-death cycles uh, for Elden Ring. Um, I haven't really thought about that too deeply, but I'm thinking of maybe adding a challenge wheel to the very beginning of the video. So that way we can basically say... Well, in this case, that we can add another challenge to whatever we're doing. Not that we really need to do that to ourselves, but, you know, apparently being a masochist has major implications. Jesus Christ. Okay, fair enough. This is why we get the Sight of Grace. Um, these are scaled. These are really scaled millennias. I'm going to sip my tea. My lord, these are scaled. I mean, I guess we're wearing weaker armor now. But still, a lot of damage. Shit. Oh 
my god! You do something, you don't get away with it, and then they just fucking walk away slowly. Ugh. Okay. Alright. Actually, funny enough, I think... No, my bad. Flame Grant Me Strength doesn't do that. Fl Flame Grant Me Strength only adds a buff for your damage, if I'm not mistaken. That's fine. That's fine. If anything, that just gives me iframes, and hey, it got me away from the combat. Take the little things. There we go, pretty good. You're being kidnapped? Well, have fun being kidnapped. Unless that's not a joke in this case, which, you know, if it's not a joke, that is a bit problematic. At least a little bit. That's about right. All right. To go to dinner. Ah, yes, you're right. That is about the normal time frame for dinner right now, isn't it? I'm kind of starting off very wackadoo, huh? Like, I should be doing a better job here. Go and we're on our way. Ah, uh, not exactly a great start, but we'll take what we can get. Fucking smashed. <laughs> okay, all right, great attack. All right, cool. First phase down. We'd love to see it. Dragon Breath. Easy Frost proc. We'd love to see it. You know what sucks about that attack right there? Is I really didn't have a lot of options. But sure, why not? Why not Millennia? Well, I mean, don't feel obligated to lurk if you need to lurk, Star. Alright? You definitely do not have to lurk. It's great having you around, obviously. I'm not going to worry about wearing the better armor, I think, for right now. I'm just going to go ahead and wear what I have. Sidestep, sidestep, basher in the back of the noggin. And a nice meaty crit on that one. Wonderful.
go ahead and go with that actually instead for the combo here. That was actually a kind of a better combo, frankly. Yeah, actually that kind of worked out for what it was worth. Oh, waterfowl, of course. Can't go five seconds without at least one more of those. Oh, weird, that hit actually did no... No rot. Huh. Odd. Big meaty smash. Get rid of her. Awesome. That was a waste right there, wasn't it? How did I pivot into Grafted Blade? Uh, I already had the Grafted Blade. I just decided to start using it because I was feeling like using something different. Fair enough, Melania. I'm really surprised no ninja kicks there. Alright, there we go. Rot Breath. Or, I'm sorry, Rot Breath. Uh, Dragon Breath. Frozone. Also, hey Maximum, hope you're doing well today. Yeah, no, I wanted to use something a little bit different, because I was kind of finding myself playing the entire game. Granted, like, the entire last stream and a half has just been pure, unadulterated, <laughs> just trying to find things. Um, it's been difficult. Hey, Anthony, how you doing today, man? Uh, aw, dude, that's nice. I miss you, too. It's good having you back. Hope everything's going well for you, man. Eating pizza, cheese, and then com I'm sorry, and then combination pizza to yum? I'm not sure I fully understand, my friend. None of these really do a whole, whole lot for us. I guess this does something for us, kind of. Yeah, we... Uh, I feel like this is probably better for the time being. Like, our flask isn't really doing a whole lot. Um... Well, actually, no, there is one thing our flask was doing for us, and that's giving us the access to use our talisman. Although, I just poured all my levels out, so... Okay, never mind, actually. There is one use for it. And that is counting for my mistakes. Funny enough, though, I think... Yeah, Grafted Blade actually gives us a buff that allows us to just start using... Or talisman. Okay, well, actually, maybe not. Maybe we don't have an issue there. I completely forgot that Oath of Vengeance gives plus... I think it's a plus four to all stats, or something like that. I actually don't know very well. I'm at 19 intelligence right now with it. So what, is that a plus five, then? That's really, really good, actually. That's kind of, like, insanely good. Like, it's a short-term Godric Great Rune, but that's... Really, really damn good. I could actually... I could do this if I wanted to. I don't know if I want to, necessarily, because that's, like, the trade-off. I don't know if it's really worth it. But I guess we'll try it just to see if it works out. Like, it's really not that big of a deal. And the build I'm using right now isn't really even reliant on intelligence. It's very Oonga Boonga. Plus, having more stamina right now would probably be a benefit. I'm a little surprised no staggers, but sure. Alright, cool. Buff. Buff.
big meaty hits. Love to see it. So I haven't been able to avoid all the damage on that one yet, but I am doing pretty darn good on avoiding at least, like, the first major chunk of it. <laughs> Damn, just get smashed in the face. <laughs> I know that's going to trigger her BS, but it's fine. <laughs> Ew. She doesn't need to roam like that, but sure, whatever. Alright, get a quick frost off. Reapply buff. Good news is we got a nice, like, open arena on this one. That's fine. She can ninja kick us all she wants to, but it really means nothing in the grand scheme of things. I'm a little surprised that that did so much work. Run away. Poked. Get stabbed. And get ended. And there we go. That's Melania put in the grave. Wow, we... Okay, I will say, I think we are definitely getting, like, significantly, significantly better at Melania. Like, it's not really even much of a joke. Like, it, we're definitely getting the sauce down at this point. Normally, I'd be pretty parry obsessed with her, but I think, funny enough, translating most of my skills on parrying into just fighting her normally without any parries whatsoever, I do believe it's genuinely easier not to fight her with any parries at this point. It is a very, very firm point. Allow me, you are unprevented. The thorns are husk, the only way, and become my purpose. So I'd like to the flame then and guide <laughs> Oh, thank you, Melania. I was. Uh, Melania. Thank you, Melania. I was really hoping for some bolusses. Great. Awesome. I have let my sure, you can do it this time. Your I need one more point of intelligence, and then I never have to worry about Principles. any sort of buffing for that reason again. Weirdly enough, the game is saying I only have Godric's Great Room, which isn't entirely true. Although, technically speaking, it might it might simply... That might be the case. Okay, I think I understand now. There's a version of the Great Rune where you have it, but you don't have it. And then there's a version of the Great Rune where you have it, but you have it. Which, if that makes sense, you know how you have to go activate it. Well, there's an active version of it, and then there's an inactive version of it. And that's exactly... Okay, that's the difference. Alright. Took me more than a minute to realize that was what was going on there, but yeah. Avenue Balcony. I mean, I could do Avenue Balcony, or I could try for the skip again. I'm just gonna do Avenue Balcony, though. I, I'm not really... I just want to move the game along. <laughs> I'd like to see the end of this playthrough today, honestly. The worst part is, is I think we might still need a great rune to end the game. But we should be able to beat the play. Uh, it, I, I think we'll be able to beat the challenge tonight. As long as we don't run into another dry spell of zero great runes. Uh, <laughs> we should be okay. Should be. Yeah, I think I, I've already kind of mentioned a couple times, though, but I'll mention it again because I think it's really important. One of the biggest mistakes I think we made on this playthrough was not giving ourselves, like, normal key item locations. 
having key item locations in just any spot whatsoever made things so much harder than they need to be. Cypherpata. I don't think I'd ever want to use the Cypherpata. Not unless we do like a very specific like Holy Warrior playthrough or something like that. Maybe then, but till that point, it's not really a concern. Hmm. Alright, could you fall off that ledge, Melania? Thank you so much. Okay, not really worth it, but we did it anyways. Very cool. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, making it so the key items were all mixed around, though. Um, we got a really, really bad key item spawn on this one. It, it has been miserable. Like, I'm pretty damn proficient when it comes to key item checks, but at the end of the day, you gotta imagine all of your key items. There's only seven in the game that can actually progress your gameplay good and proper if you have on certain settings for this game. On your phone, on your phone now? Is that the case, Star? Very nice. Either way, feel free to lurk as best as you can. Don't worry about it. Have fun. Melania, could you, like, stop? Worst part is, is you have to run away from her as long as she's within that aggro range. Because if she just decides that she's going to immediately punish your heal, GG's. Best of luck to you. You know what would be really annoying to me, actually, is if it turns out I actually needed to, um... I actually needed to go activate the one great rune I found. Okay, this never happens. What the hell? That would have been funny, though, if it turns out I needed to go activate the one great rune I found in order to find another great rune. Because... I don't believe it can be the case where a great rune can be mixed up with a great rune location. Um, I don't believe that's the case. There we go. Okay, so not a whole lot of checks here. There's only really, I think, one check in this little road up to the main. With any luck, that that will be the one check we might need for anything forward progression-wise, but... Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll see. Can the game not crash? Thanks. Okay. Sure, Melania can just be chilling in the ground like that. Why not? Tomorrow we may not have a stream. We'll um we'll see. Uh I'm actually working on another video at the moment and hopefully it'll turn out at least a little bit better than the last one. Um that's always the goal, you know. But, uh, but hopefully it'll turn out a little bit better than the last one. It's going to be a one for a run that we actually did a little while ago here. It was a fat roll only. Okay. All right. Thank you, game. Oh. Pure Blood Knight's Metal. Fuck. Okay, so that means we might have to go to Moog. Kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. What doing the black? No, I mean, it'd be a lot of cash, probably, but I don't think it's really worth doing it. Okay, so here's the question. I don't remember if I already have the great runes necessary to do this. 
I do. Okay, cool. Thank God. <laughs> oh, God, that was really concerning. I... Right, I have the secret medallion. Right. Right. Right, I have the secret medallion. Yeah, I already finished Morgot. I, um... Shit. This is not... This is not the intended route. Uh, okay. I'm gonna get the set of grace, and I guess we'll go do Moog. I believe with Moog, there's only, I think, a total of two checks. Okay, Melania, please, can we, can we not, can we just not for a minute? Like, I get your entire personality is to be nothing but an absolutely raging problem. See, I bet you thought I was going to say cunt. <laughs> that, too. <sighs> I, I'm, 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 I need this to be a little bit less obnoxious. Okay, so if two of them get a combo on me, I'm just dead. Okay, that went better than I thought it would. Yay. Wahoo. Okay. You know, I'm going to be honest, I really, really, really hope that this is not the area we have to explore for more Great Runes, but it might turn into the area we have to explore for more Great Runes. And that's a little bit annoying. Why was there a parry sound effect? Wait, I'm... <sighs> I'm sorry, what? Why did it sound like Mary... Uh, I'm sorry, Mary... Why did it sound like Melania got parried? What the fuck? It's funny, I really don't like this area. Like, I genuinely just kind of despise this area. Funny enough, Dark Souls 2 did this area a little bit more justice, ironically enough. You know what the one thing Dark Souls 2 did that actually made this area, like, not enjoyable, but just not nearly as annoying as shit to deal with, is they made it so the storms rolled in and out. And, like, for what it's worth, people shit on the, on the Horsefuck Valley, like, a lot. Understandably, it was awful. But this area is arguably worse. This area is actually worse than Horsefuck Valley. And it's only because the storm does not roll. If the storm rolled, this area would be a lot more entertaining, a lot more enjoyable. But I don't know why, but there's just... That's not an option. And it should have always been an option. So, I don't know. I'm sure Mr. Miyazaki had a wonderful plan in mind when he came here, when it came to this whole concept, but, you know. Alright, we're gonna get the set of grace, and I guess we're gonna go do Moogs. If anything might merit what we need, I'm assuming it'd probably be maybe fighting Moog. Though that seems incredibly problematic. Actually, let me let me ask. Chat, I'm gonna go ahead and put out a quick uh, quick little poll here for you. Do you want to see me fight a boss? 
Or would you rather see me cheese and show you the secret cheese technique of this area? Because there is a way to completely cheese Moog, for what it's worth. And frankly, we've already had our fair share of Millennia encounters. So what would you rather see? Would you rather see, like, the best cheese of this entire area? Or do we owe Millennia another fight? Please don't tempt me with, the, like, a great item, potentially. Of course, it's it's actually nothing important whatsoever. Cool, great. Do we have any torches? Actually, while I'm thinking about it. No, we do not. Okay, cool. Do we have any lanterns? Yes, we do. I don't really feel like I need the lantern, but it definitely helps me out at least a little bit. Ooh. Just realized this is a thing. Like, okay, cool. There was, like, nothing important there. Yeah, that's the problem, merchant. Oh my god, Melania, we get it! Thank god I have so much of my blue flask. Uh, it's... Okay, it's a kind of sizable item. I kind of feel like cheesing Melania. And the other thing, too, is I think if we cheese this area... It, um... <laughs> it's gonna be a little gross. It's gonna be a little bit gross in how much cash we actually earn off of it. Guaranteed. Grace lit. Awesome. We're not even gonna worry about all the little extra shit right now. We're just gonna go ahead and do what we need to do here. Um, yeah. Unalloyed gold needle. That shouldn't be important. Okay, don't know how I didn't die there, but we'll take it. Royal remains armor. And cool. Yeah, I kind of figured I wouldn't be allowed to warp here. Alright, we're going to save quit it real quickly. Otherwise, the game's not going to allow us to do anything. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Actually, yeah. We're just going to go with cheese. I want cheese. I want cheese chat. Okay, so, that way you all know the exact method to this madness. We need to first and foremost actually go up here and activate the boss fight. Boss fight's not activated, then unfortunately, whatever you're about to do is not going to work the way that you want it to. So, first things first. Go ahead and send the elevator back down just because it's not too important to keep it here. Go ahead and run on in there, and you're going to go ahead and activate your Melania fight. Does she reach here for... Okay, I thought so. Anyway, save quit. Jesus Christ, this run's been just over 11 hours. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I'm not turning this one into a video. This one's not... I'm not very happy with this one. I was so much happier doing, like, John Bacon's run, frankly. I'm going to take a sip of my drink while we're talking. Alrighty. So, time to prove the only time that the horse ever becomes important. Genuinely, like, the only time the horse will ever be superbly important. Other than 
covering long distances, frankly. Grab the item. Okay, again, I heard something get parried. What? Who's out here parrying Melania? Is, like, John Wick around the corner or some shit, and he's just, like, secretly parrying Melania just for the fun of it? Like, I mean, based, sure, cool. Alright, there we go. Do this. Get up here. Funny enough, I think there's a second way of doing this that's actually a little bit easier, if I'm not mistaken. But this is the way that I know how to do it, and, um, yeah. So go ahead and just start spamming the trigger. Punch, 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 all the way down. And we're going to be sitting here for at least a minute. So go ahead and get yourselves comfy. Play that nice, uh... Shit, what's the show called? Um, not Tetris. Fuck, I'm forgetting the name of it like crazy right now. Oh, well, it doesn't matter that deeply. It's, um... It's like Deal or No Deal. And the tune, uh, the tune, it goes like do 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 Jeopardy! Jesus, pizza P. I don't know why that was. My brain cells gone. My smile diminished. Anyways. This should be about the time where we start seeing a whole, whole lot of runes suddenly pop up on us. And do it a little bit longer. I could have sworn that after a certain point in here, the boss themselves die. But I could be wrong about that. We're going to do it a little bit longer. And... Alright, another couple seconds. And just like that, we have 1.8 million. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to take it. I don't care. I'll take it. It's a whole lot of runes. I never deserved them in the first place, but we're going to take every every single one of them. 1.9. A little bit longer. Now, there's two ways to exit this. You can either go to your map, and this is actually something that you can do um, on a regular basis if you're ever just running around in the open world. Granted, if you're being chased by something and you fall off a ledge, this doesn't work. But if you're just kind of roaming around the area and you're doing this and you goof up and you fall off a ledge, you can open up your map for one. Or you could do a save quit. The save quit puts you right at the top of the ledge with everything still dead. The map obviously does not do that. Now, of course, you gotta take what you can, and in this case, we took exactly what we could. And this should leave this area almost completely free for us to just kind of loot without any stress whatsoever, which is kind of nice. Especially considering most of this run has been nothing but stress. Please, Torrent, I'm not asking for a lot, I'm just asking for a level of baseline level of competence. Like, honestly. It's threads. You know, if we were doing a run more akin to, um, like, oops, all Elden Beast, pest threads would probably be the best thing that we could have ever have gotten. Like, honestly. But, um, that's not the case. So, yeah.
a Viridian Medallion too. Do I have the Viridian Medallion on? No. Okay, cool. No, I have some slightly better stuff on. That's fine. Anyways, we're just going to go ahead and loot this area for all it's worth. I didn't see any major loot pulls happen in our inventory, so I'm going to assume that it didn't work exactly the way that I planned for it to. But that's okay. We'll, we'll take what we can, and we're going to completely wreck everything that we can. Oh my goodness, he does a lot of damage. And he has a lot of health. Holy. He, oh my goodness, he is a healthy boy. Magnus is insanely tanky. Oh my god, he does a lot of damage. I don't think I'd be able to actually take him right now if I was actually dealing with him any other way. I guess the good news here is that Magnus isn't... the biggest threat in the world? Holy... I kind of wish I had the halberd out right now. I could do frost procs at least. Alright, there we go. Cool. A little annoyed. A little annoyed, Magnus. Motherfucker. Fuck you, Magnus. Jesus, Pizza P, he should never have been a problem. Speaking of Magnus, you were streaming early? Or, uh, oh, no, my bad. You were playing chess with your dad earlier. Well, that's cool, though, Pastor. Also, hey, Pastor, how you doing tonight, bud? It's good seeing you. Yeah, I wouldn't stress it, man. Honestly, if you were having fun with your dad, don't even worry about it. I'm just glad you were having fun. Okay, so I'm assuming, because this tree has nothing on it, this would have been Godric's great rune. More than likely, that would have been Godric's. Oh, he's got hops. And he's got no more health. One more cash, one more summon over here. enough, you can see where they're supposed to spawn in, based off that little bubbly spot on the ground. And that does make your life at least a little bit easier. And that's done. Wonderful. We 
didn't really get anything too, too crazy out of doing those little encounters. I just feel like dealing with them because they're in the vicinity and... Honestly, when you're talking about any item checks in an area that's completely millennia free, there's really no reason not to just give yourself that free treat. Literally just do it just because you can. Honestly. Alright, so something tells me that Melania Blade of uh, Blade of Mikola um, is still alive up here. So, let's go ahead and deal with that. Yeah, honestly, the invaders are definitely pretty well dripped out. We love to see it. Int! Up one more point, and that is officially done on that front. Um, one more point of faith, that covers that. A little bit more of endurance, frankly, at this point, because that'll help me cover a little bit more of some other stuff. Oh, right, I just, I completely forgot. I have a shit ton of runes. <laughs> I do actually do have that, yeah. Oh, nice. Actually, fuck it. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Alright. Great sword. Equipped. Love to see it. This is now officially usable, just for free. How heavy can I get here? Wow, I can actually get pretty heavy. Nice. Very cool. Alright, let's see if Melania is still alive up here, and if she is, well, that will be fun, I suppose. Did I find another great rune? Kind of, yeah. I, uh, more than anything, I just kind of had to make a, uh, an exception and decide that I needed an extra great rune. We, um, we were pretty lost, honestly. Like, like, it was not happening normally. Not at all. And a free fucking stagger. We'd love to see it. Put her in the grave. Chug from downtown. Yeah, that's what I thought. She's doing so much damage right now that honestly, challenging her for the most part is rough. And, like, I say that, yeah, it's just very rough. Stabbed. Stabbed again. Stabbed again. And one more poise break for the fucking road. We'd love to see it. Hmm. Okay, fair enough. That's not going to do nearly enough for it to be worth it in the grand scheme of things. Big meaty smashers. Big meaty smashers. Oh, that was close. Chug. That 
that's a little unfortunate that that worked out that way, but sure, whatever. And smashed. Crit. That's fine. It's completely fucking her up, which is awesome. We'd love to see it. There we go. Very nice. That's a good news about the Nightmaid's Mist, is it really does a whole lot of work for you for basically free. Ooh, that was a lot of lag millennia. Don't do that again, okay? No more lag. That's, you know, that's about right for her, right? That's about right for millennia. <sighs> Fuck, I essentially had the fight in the bag. <laughs> I essentially had it in the bag. It really... It, w it was a bad angle. It was a really bad angle. Okay, sure. This attack can happen. Why not? Alright, get staggered. Fucking bozo. Do it again. Fucking clip the toes. I'm always expecting the waterfowl, but there's no guarantee that she does just waterfowl. Yeah, there we go. A little annoyed about that one. Also, the accidental wrong chug there. But sure, whatever. Like these runes, why not? The big thing to remember about Melania on that attack right there, if you're fighting her purely melee, she has two versions of that attack. One that's a little bit slower, one that's a little bit faster. If it's the fast version, don't challenge it. Staggered. Fucking get crushed. There we go. She's put in the grave for another day. This may not cross proc, but we'll still try it anyways. There we go. Frostproc, love to see it. Big smash. I'll live this, quote unquote. Yeah. A little annoyed, but sure, whatever. Run around. Reapply buff, and yeah, we're good.
Actually, I can ult real quickly. A little annoyed about no staggers there, but sure, whatever. Okay, that kind of sucks. Alright, well, whatever. This time, at least we get to run away. That's Melania put in the grave. We'd love to see it. No more Melania. The coming of our dynasty. Please, Great Rune. Good sir, please. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Wonderful. <laughs> I shouldn't have to be stressed like this, but the Great Runes have not been in our favor on this playthrough. Okay, one more point of dex gives us enough for the god sword, if I'm not mistaken, um, which I'm kind of tempted to use pretty well. So I think we might use that. Yeah, you know what? I think we are going to go ahead and pivot into God Slayer's Great Sword for it a hot minute. If we have the stones for it, uh, if we don't, then of course, obviously, we're going to make the difference up. But um, I would like to use that. That would be really, really fun. I also just really like the sword in general, so there's that. Okay, so let's see. Two, three, four, six. How many of these am I missing? Granted, of course, if I can't do it because, you know, I'm missing stones, then we'll suffer, I suppose. Like the five. I'm missing a five right now. Great. Of course, I would be. Um... Five should be in the mountaintop of giants. At least the bell bearing should be. I don't suppose one would be just chilling on one of these, right? Like, I know what I'm looking for. Uh, fours. Okay, alright. No. Oh. We also haven't just used, like, a normal weapon yet, I guess, haven't we? Like, we haven't used any of those. We could do that. Okay, no. No, that's pretty much it. Okay. Alright, then in that case we're gonna keep using Grafted Great Blade until then. any luck, we'll find what we're looking for up top, though. I'm really glad, though, that we did find that before too long, because, uh, again, without that, without that great rune, we would be stuck in the, uh, the Forbidden Lands. And I'm not really looking forward to that. So, yay! We're on our way. Of course, the other thing to consider here, too, is that while we're up here now, our life isn't necessarily easier by any means whatsoever. Because we still have Melania, we still have a lot to take care of until we actually make any forward progression. Really, we kind of need to get a little bit lucky on a lot of the items that we can get up here. I don't believe we need any more Great Runes now at this point. The randomizer settings, if I remember correctly, are currently set up for only three Great Runes to beat the game. Which is good. 
because uh, I can't stress this enough. Having to play through this game so much can be incredibly taxing on a randomizer alone. All right, here's hoping for the bell bearing. If it's not the bell bearing, then here's hoping that. Well, I don't. I don't know what else I need. That's surprisingly not even a key item. Huh. Okay. And it sounds like Melania just killed herself on accident, which, you know, about about right for her. So I think I was briefly mentioning it the other day, but I've actually been, like, listening to the Audible um, for Lord of the Rings. And I gotta say, like, every single time... And I really can't say enough good about it, because there's so much good about it. Okay. Sure, we'll take a free remembrance. But, no, there's so much good about it. The storyline, the way everything is presented, the characters... I mean, obviously, and I'll say this a thousand times a week, you know, just because it is the truth, right? It's something that any book is going to struggle with, and that is moving your characters' adaptations onto the big screen. But all the characters are so much more flavorful and just wonderful in every single way. I've actually found myself absolutely loving Gimli now, of all people. In the movies, he feels obviously like a little bit more of like a tropey goofball of a character. And yeah, sure, he's he's like, he's the dwarf. He's, he's kind of designed to almost be like this comic relief of the trio. Um, but the relationship between Legolas and Gimli is so much deeper than like what surface level shit they have going on in the movie. Like their fighting competitions really mean like almost... Like, there's something, but it's more like them just having fun with each other as shit is going completely wrong, you know? Oh, another Remembrance. Okay, sure, why not? We'll take it. Um, there's that. There's also the relationship between Sam and Frodo. I mean, Frodo, for one... God, can I just say, actually, like, Frodo in the books? Holy shit! Holy hell! He is such a... He's got such a great character. He's not just this guy that shit just happens to, and he's just kind of, like, there for it. He's like, oh, well, I guess it's an adventure I have to go on. No, he's, he's convicted to the journey. And the thing that I think, like, completely goes over a lot of people's heads when you're talking about the Lord of the Rings and, like, what happens during everything... Spoiler alert, I guess, in case anybody has never seen the uh, seen the Lord of the Rings trilogy before. But one of the biggest things that happen during the during the movies and the books is very, very early on, uh, Gandalf doesn't die, but he essentially dies, right? Let's grab the item. Thank you. But the important thing to remember about this equation is that Gandalf is sort of like... Like, he is the party's genuine guide. Like, if if anybody should never be lost in that party, it would be Gandalf. Gandalf being lost so early on in the adventure was genuinely, like, heartbreaking and also destroying in a lot of ways for anything that happened during the rest of the plot, which makes everything else so much more powerful. But you have that. But the important thing to remember about this is that at the beginning, um, or the, at the end of book one, or movie one, Frodo and Samwise take off on their own. They both leave the party to go and try and take care of getting rid of the One Ring. So their entire journey, they don't know, really, that Gandalf has come back. There is nothing telling them that. In fact, their entire adventure, they have no idea what's going on with the rest of the group. Which is so much more impactful now that I think about it, than if you're looking through it for your first time. 
and I, I don't know. I just like it's crazy how amazingly cool it is. The other thing too, honestly, is like I think like uh, what's his face has a lot more strength to his character as well. Um, that would be uh, Schmeagol. Like he's very obviously like. <sighs> The movies actually do a pretty good job with him, I'll say. They don't outright make his character this, like, oh, he's evil, but he's actually not really evil. He's just kind of misunderstood. No, like, it's obvious, like, he he is kind of completely warped by the power of the rings in a way that is genuinely, like, un unfathomable. In, into a bookworm. Yes, I am turning into a little bit of a bookworm. I am absolutely... I'm having a lot of fun with that, actually, lately. I really, really am. But... You have that going on. I'm gonna be pretty annoyed in the mountaintops if there's just, like, all the great runes are up here. Just, can you imagine how absolutely obnoxious that would be? One of the things I thought about doing was making it so all the great runes had to be in the early game for some reason. Granted, I don't think there's an exact way to make that work and also still have a good time of it, but yeah, I, I don't know. I thought that would be some way of making it work. Reading can be fun. No, reading is a lot of fun. I love, I do love reading for what it's worth. Um, but no, I just, I have been divesting myself deeply into that adventure. And the other thing too, um, is that Andy Circus, which is the voice of Gom, uh, Gollum, or Schmeagol, he does such a good job with the characters. There's another guy who does the readings, and I'm, I, I don't like ripping on people, but I swear to God, this guy could make paint drying look fun. If it weren't for Andy Circus, I don't think I would be having nearly as good of a time with it, because the other guy makes every fucking character sound the same. It's like, like genuinely, when we're talking about a reading, you have. Ah, I'm talking like Frodo right now. This is me. I'm Frodo. Yes. Ah, yes. I gotta get the one ring over to Mount, Mount Gelmir. <laughs> and then you have uh, Aragorn, who's like, Ah, yes. I gotta save everybody. I am the long lineage descendant of the, uh, the Dunedain. Ah, yes. But that's, like, it's, it's, it's annoying. It's shit to me. Because it should be, like, you should be having fun with this, dude! Book reading should be awesome! Oh, I should have let the guy stab himself first. What a goofball. I really love how he was committed to stabbing himself. Like, he wanted to jam that blade so deep in his sternum. And you know what? I should have let him. It was a little rude of me not to do that, chat. And I am terribly, terribly sorry. <laughs> uh. But no, the other guy I was listening to originally... The very first guy I listened to was pretty fun, but his book readings got a little, like, weird and wacky on how they got shit done. And then the next guy I listened to, he was kind of just a fat mid out of ten. But my... God, Andy Circus, he oh, 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 talk about a guy who has his his characters down. Holy, was he good? He was really something special. I was actually super happy. Ugh. How much do I need for Black Blade here to function? Because that actually might be really worth it. That's a lot of faith just to make that work. Lovecraft audiobooks. I should do that too, honestly. I should do that. That sounds like a like a really good time. All right, nothing else there that's really worth talking about. So we're just going to go ahead and move into the boss fight. I don't 
believe I'd be able to cheese Melania in this boss arena, but at the same time, I'm very tempted to find out. Um, yeah, same time, I'm very tempted to find out. Unfortunately, we didn't find our bell bearing up here. Not yet, at least. Which tells me it could potentially be locked behind, uh, behind the Nile boss fight. Kinda sucks. Kinda sucks. Alright, go ahead and do this buff too. You know, why not? Like, honestly, all of our buffs are pretty darn useful, so why not? Sidestep, sidestep, basher in the noggin. Look at that damage. I don't know how she didn't grab me there, but we'll take it. I'm a little annoyed, but sure. Okay, cool. I was gonna say that stagger had to be there somewhere, right? Anyways, Millennia get put in the dirt, get smashed, and get smashed. Okay, you know what? Sure, why not? That doesn't normally happen, but fuck it! This is gonna be a long boss fight. God, this is gonna be a long boss fight. Maybe not too long, but like... It's very tempting to pull back out the- You know what? Fuck it. I'm, I'm gonna do what's right for me. I'm gonna get up the Dragon Halberd. It's probably better that I have the actual decent buff in this case anyways. And like, debuffing her and also getting a Frostproc is just... Like, I'm sure I don't need to explain why a Frostproc is good. It's it's obviously good, right? Yeah. So chat, while I got you here with me, I actually want to go ahead and bring up something that might be happening sometime soon-ish here. Um, I am obviously doing a lot of work right now to kind of get a whole bunch of things rolling. Um, one of the big things that we're going to probably be doing soon enough here is getting a bot set in place so that way whenever people are watching the streams and whatnot, um, you get loyalty points. And I don't really know what that means fully yet, just that it means that will be a thing that happens here. little annoyed, but sure, whatever, Melania. Alright. So those loyalty points, I'm assuming in this case, will probably turn into something more like, hey, we're gonna end up... Pretty much you can spend those points to do, like, hey, we're gonna do certain things, or you can cash them in to see certain games get played. That's kind of the idea that comes to mind. But yeah. Sure, why not? Fuck up my spine. Wow. Okay, that took a minute. Also, no Frostbrock yet. There we go. There's that Frostbrock. Okay, there we go, second phase. Cash in for Celeste, exactly. The little things that you'll be able to do with it. Frankly, Halberds seem to be the way to go if you're gonna fight Melania. Halberds or Spears seem to be the best option for her. Yeah, 
Yeah, wow, yeah, that really just kind of puts a complete damper in her spirits, huh? Anyway, second phase, Melania. Reapply buff. Yeah, she thought she was going to waterfall there. Wow, okay, no waterfowl, no nothing really crazy there. Blasphemous Blade Rexer, I would totally believe it. That weapon is dirty on its best day. Damn, she literally just stepped on me, and that was a lot of damage just for being stepped on. Okay, awesome. We love to see it. Steppy steppies. Okay, sure. Whatever, Melania. No waterfowls. A little annoyed that I missed out on the opportunity there, but whatever. Okay, second phase. Big meaty procs. Not really, but still good. Good damage. Okay, awesome. That's fine. Very cool. All right. Flower's dead. Frost rock. Yay. And that's a dead ass Melania. We love to see it. Get her in the grave. Hey, there we go. There's Melania's great rune. Cool. <laughs> it really is going to be the case, huh? We're just going to get everybody's great rune in the second half of the game. So, like, quick reminder here. I just feel like pointing it out. Rykards is the only one we got in the base early game. We've already gotten Radon's, Melania's. I can already tell you Godric's was already in the second half of the game, too. Because we found a tree with no item on it. And that's where it would have probably spawned. So that's three great runes already in the span of the time that we fucking started doing things in the second half of the game. Fucking annoying. <laughs> Blasphemous Blade also, Rexer. I could believe it. Frankly, anything that does like a whole, whole, whole ton of damage is always wonderful. Plus, I mean, one of the biggest things that you kind of get as an advantage with the Blasphemous Blade stuff is that that debuff literally just kind of nukes the health bar right off the bat. I mean, granted, I feel like it does a ton and a half of damage regardless of whatever you want out of it, but it's also just insanely good, so. Um, what did we need here to actually... Because I think there was something I... No, 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 actually, never mind. It was a bell bearing that I was missing. I was missing a plus five. Okay. All right, well, that's not really a worry, then. I'm not even going to stress myself out with it. We're going to give ourselves a little bit more mind, if anything. We're kind of lacking that department. All right, so I need a plus five. So that way I can actually get my weapon leveled up pretty well. Are you to commit? Burn at my hand.
Good news, though, chat. At the rate we're going at right now, we only have four more Millennia fights, really. Now, granted, I think three of those are going to be double Millennia fights, which is annoying, to say the least. But, but, we are almost done with this run. And I'm going to push probably pretty hard tonight to go ahead and get that done so we can be done with it. Because again, I don't want to keep doing this. <laughs> so we may not swap off weapons or anything crazy like that, but we're going to make this happen. Let me see something real quickly here. Do we have any normal weapons that would actually be worth using? Maybe? Not really, actually. Like, most of our normal weapons... We don't really have a lot of normal weapons. Is the is the Nightbreeder Glaive a, um, a smithing weapon? Because if it is, we might consider it. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I immediately get kicked. Fair enough. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. I feel like I abandoned my runes. I don't even know if it's worth it to keep the runes, frankly. I have a lot of crab, and also my physique is probably as good as it could be. Maybe I should start using both of those. And also, pretty sure I can wear some heavier gauntlets. And some heavier pants. There we go. Cool. The Blasphemous Blade is just probably one of the best weapons in the game, if I'm not mistaken. If if there is a great sword that you could get, I think that is the great sword, isn't it? Fair enough. I wouldn't want to live anyways. Living cringe. Alright, cool. We got away with it. I'm not going to worry about that side of grace. We're just going to keep going. It is funny, I guess. I feel like there is definitely an obvious... Like, if I were doing this run soon, like as soon as the, the game started, like as soon as the game came out, this would be pain. This would be a nightmare, I think, for me. But like, doing it where I am right now personally, like don't get me wrong, it's annoying as shit. That's kind of a useless-ass fucking thing to get. But I feel like we're doing a lot better, grand scheme of things. And it definitely it shows. Don't know quite how that happened, but sure, alright. Didn't mean to buff. That's kind of weird that that wasn't even a bell bearing. Oh. Not gonna lie, a little surprised that she... <laughs> okay. Alright, well, fuck. Well, hang on, actually. I'm just going to go ahead and take advantage of this situation real quickly and see if how many Millennials want to kill themselves. Come on down, Millennia. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, might as well honestly have as many of these kill themselves as possible. Until, you know, she throws herself over here in the worst way possible. Melania, could you kill yourself, please? Please? <laughs> okay, alright. Am I finishing up the challenge tonight? God, I hope so. I really, really hope so. I want to be done. I do want to be done with this challenge. It has been way too much. It's been too long. Yeah, I think I just want to be be able to move on. This challenge has been, like, fun and everything, but it lost its luster, like, two parts ago, roughly. So, I would very much so enjoy doing something a little bit different. Frankly, trying out one of the new mods that have been out for a little bit, or honestly, even getting Dark Souls 3 up. Um, I also really wanted to play uh, Dead Rising 1 and 2 at some point here. And just kind of show off the... Like, because it's funny when you're talking about, like, Dead Rising 1 and 2, I don't know how familiar everyone is with the games. But, like, if you know what you're doing in those games, again, it's one of those things of, like, your prowess will easily trump whatever is going on in the game. Like, it is insane how much you can absolutely crush a game when you have the skill cap for it. That is definitely one of those games, funny enough, where that matters a ton. Melania gets shocked. Easy cake. There's a waterfowl. A little annoyed that I got completely fucking sauced up there, but sure, whatever. It's also just annoying because she gets, like, an insane amount of healing off of that. Could I get my stagger, please? No staggers. No staggers. No staggers. It's gonna be like the last second possible. Of course it would be. There we go. And buff. And breath. There we go. Waterfowl off the bat. Haven't seen that in a minute. Easy. Cake. Okay, wonderful. Fine by me. Get frost. She went for the follow up, that's fine. A little annoyed that she went for another waterfowl, but whatever. This might potentially turn into a two two attempts. I don't think it will. But she's not exactly being generous right now. There we 
go. Big meaty hits. And a quick heal. Wonderful. And Frostbrock. It did not Frostbrock. Unfortunate. A little surprised, no Frostbrock. There we go. Yo, what's up, Dark Souls? How you doing today, bud? Chad Freak coming up? Nah, it's gonna be the, uh, the unfortunately drug-ridden, disease-ridden, not-so-Chad-free, in this case. No Chad-free for this run. As sad as it is. And it is genuinely quite sad. I miss my- I miss my boy Chad Free so much. I really, really do. A little bit more mine, sure, why not. Could I do Birdfuck Valley Skip in this case? Like, I could probably do Birdfuck Valley Skip, right? Okay, well that was just me being bad. That was just me being bad. You don't care if it's Cessus or not? Oh, trust me, I'm gonna absolutely abuse her as best as I can. We do have Cestus. We do have a Cestus. Okay, I have no idea what's going through my head right now, but that was just a bad jump. That was really bad. I'm not normally bad at this. Like, I say that as if, though, I've done this a whole, whole, whole bunch of times. Which I, you know, kind of haven't, but... Right, make the jump. Wonderful. Very cool. Yeah, we're just kind of speed running the end of the game at this point. I don't really want to dick around with this as much as humanly possible. I want to get through this. I want to be done. I want to move along so I can smile and go and move on to something else. I'm actually surprised that that's like a genuine item right there. Silver tier husks. Okay, cool. Bring honor to the chat free name. I mean, we could do that, yeah. I mean, I'm kind of tempted suddenly. Tell you what, okay, let's let's take a quick inventory check. 24, 23, 10, 9, 11, 10, 9, 8. We don't quite have enough. Autocorrect capitalizes Chad Free, as it should, frankly. The only thing I would probably want at this point to make our run like a little bit smoother would be either the iron iron balls, the spike cestus, or the uh or the star fists, but I could just do it with... I mean, I could do it with just the bare minimum. We could do it. It kind of depends on uh, how well everything goes, frankly. Yeah, that's fair. Of course she would fucking do that. That's the thing about that's the thing about Melania, right? Is that the minute she starts losing is going to be a waterfowl. I don't even have to kill that one. I was only doing it primarily so that way I could maybe make my life a little bit easier on the way down. Shut. You know what I'm going to probably do later tonight, is I'm probably going to, if not, win again. 
I plan to finish this one tonight. I don't really want to be doing this much, much longer, honestly. I've spent too much time around Melania, and frankly, I've said it before, again and again and again, any time that I've fought Melania. I might be good at her at this point, but I don't enjoy her. <laughs> I do not like her as a boss fight. She is not very fun at all. Like, she has her moments and everything. But she's not, she's not that person. Melania, I was going to say, could you let me heal for a second, but that's fine. Alright, run down this way for a second, because she's going to nuke. But unfortunately, Melania being... Oh, wait, actually, wait, could we just cheese her? I mean, not to be stupid or anything, but, like, could we just cheese her? <laughs> so long, bitch! <laughs> oh, that made me feel so much better. <laughs> oh, I feel so, so, so much better now. Oh, that was so worth it. Alright, I'm gonna get this in one attempt. Yeah, see, one attempt. What did I say? What did I say? your list uh melania or regal ancestor regal ancestor is kind of a lame out of 10 regal ancestor is actually like the best thing about the regal ancestor i think is the boss arena right regal ancestor is like very aesthetically pleasing but like actually fighting the boss it, it just stalls Funny enough, the boss was better when it was early patch. Yeah, Godfrey is the absolute top tier. You're correct about that one. It's funny, it's almost as if, like, the best boss in the game is the one with Ooga Booga. Malekith is a pretty good second pick. I would definitely, I would have to mostly agree with you on that. I'd only maybe have to partially argue it, because I think... Godric being the first great boss, I think Godric is a pretty okay boss. Godric isn't really anything too special to talk about, but it's a lot of fun going from getting shit on by him to being, like, to shitting on him. That is the best part of that learning curve. Alright, let's see. I forget which one of these buffs actually lasts longer, but whatever. It doesn't matter. We're just going to do both. Big meaty hits. run away because I did way too much to myself there. I would uh, I would fully agree with that one, Pastor. Like, it definitely does have one of the best boss themes. It's very, very, very saucy. Little annoyed by how many whiffs just happened there, but sure, whatever. There we go, first phase down. And second phase begins. Until, you know, we have the next part of the second phase. Ah, shit. 
Yoink! Kinda makes me laugh a little bit that she immediately knew to go for her fucking flurry move. Like, she knew immediately, like, hey, let me ruin this kid's life. Ah, shit. Okay, that went a lot better than I expected it to. Gotcha. Got him. Get fucking poked. Now, do I have a second phase on that? I believe I do. Yes, I do. I'm gonna take a look at that in just a minute here, Dark Souls. I, uh, I'm a little busy with everybody's favorite... Dumb, stinky bitch. There we go. Of course, waterfowl. Should have expected it. What's funny about that attack whiffing is that it doesn't make any sense that it would ever whiff whatsoever, even though it was literally right on top of her. But sure, okay, why not? Alright, big meaty hits. Set up for anything and everything. There we go, second phase. Re shrimp. We're good. That's fine. Big me hits. Chug, we're good, awesome. Rebuff. not like I don't have to be so blindingly scared of that move there is a way to dodge it and everything I just prefer to be safe about it and if I have the availability to completely run away from it there's literally no reason not to run away from it I this. that had to have been probably one of the most useless bell bearings I could have gotten I guess the good news is now my grafted sword can be a plus 10 I think but <laughs> Cool. Yay. Woo. <laughs> Ugh. I don't want to go hunting, though. I don't want to go hunting for any of my, my stones. But I might have to do that just to get anything. All 
right. Tell you what. Let's go back to the um. Let's go back to Rabel, um table. We'll see if we can do that real quickly. And I'm gonna check this list. I plan to beat Fake Chat free to death. Yeah, I'm hoping to do so. Tell you what. Instead of dicking around and looking for all the stones, we might just um do a little bit of something uh, to help us move that along a little easier. Okay. All right. I think that sounds like a much better plan, grand scheme of things. We'll look for the stones real quickly in the shops. If it's not there, then we're just going to go ahead and do what we need to do to make it happen. I don't really feel like I need a whole lot more crab at this point. I think we're good on that front. Yeah, we're, we're fine there. We're really not, honestly, that far behind on any of these things. It's just enough right now. It really is just barely enough. Not that, I guess. Why not? Yeah, tell you what, chat, I think that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and get myself the bell bearings needed, because um, I don't really want to dick around with it and waste all my time looking for bell bearings at the moment, and I would like to beat the shit out of Melania. So we're going to go ahead and do that real quickly. Um, give me just a minute to go ahead and get that set up. Okay, I believe we're missing three and four. And just in case, Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone as well. Also, let's just go ahead and... Let's just go ahead and cover our bases real quickly. Why not? Like, honestly, I, I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty ready to just go ahead and have everything ready to go. There we go. Oh, uh, look at that, Chad. I found everything I needed. Woo! Wahoo! <laughs> uh, okay. Like, honestly, that's the thing. It's like we really didn't need any of this. We could have just very well gone into the final fight with exactly what we had kitted. But I don't really care. I want to be done. I want to be able to be like, hey, the fight is officially over. We kicked the ever-living shit out of this fight. Yahoo. That's it. That's all there is to it. All right, Cestus equipped. Very cool. We're going to go for the punchy punch strats on Melania. Which, if I'm really going for the best possible punchy punch strats, I would technically also give myself... um what you call it, the rocky shit, but we're not going to worry about it. I'm just going to see how well punching does, and we're going to go for it. There we go. Ashes of War. We do have War Frost Stomp. Which, if I'm being honest, War Frost Stomp would kind of cover the basis. It would at least give us something to work with. So, you know what? I think I will get that going on. Okay. That's probably, like, the most important thing that I could have right now. But the thing is, is Horaloo's Earthshaker isn't very good. It's not... It's not good. Okay, you know what? I actually tell you what... Because we can pair it with bleed, I'll do it purely because we can still bleed her, alright? But I don't believe it to be that good. Like, what are we really looking at damage-wise? Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that is a pretty significant damage increase. We do have some... Okay, you know what? No. 
no, never mind. Actually, I think we have we have a couple a couple resins on us. I think, right? We do. Not really very useful resins in this case, but we do have them, so we could go for it. No, we're gonna go for it. Why not? I mean, really, the only other thing I could do right now is give myself Cragblade, if I was really being an absolute Chad. Still have to kill Gideon Millennia. Ah, oh, you're right about that, yeah. I do have Gideon Millennia, too. Hmm. I would say on that one, we could probably level up the, um... Why don't we actually level up the uh, the Godslayer Greatsword at the same time? I would prefer to have that available too. There we go. Maxed out on that. Wonderful. Honestly, it's impressive that he could ever even put up a fight in the first place. Gideon's not really much of a fight. He's only a problem if you're having a challenge run happen. Alright, let's see here. Alright, let's go for it. Let's see what happens. Worst case, it is absolutely awful and the worst time ever. And um, hopefully that's not the case, but we'll, uh, we'll find out. <laughs> but we have... One millennia, then we have two millennias, then we have another two millennias. Oh boy, a hand axe. So we have a total of five millennias before the game gets beaten. And once that's done, I'm not I'm not giving any more of it. Use Halberd for Gideon. Yeah, you know what honestly, you're kinda right about that one. I think we are gonna just use Halberd on Gideon, because fuck Gideon. Nobody respects Gideon. If you're respecting Gideon, you're having a bad day. Okay, I don't really know if it's worth it for the trade-off there, but I'm going to go and do that. Why don't we do this sword instead, though? I haven't really used this yet. I would like this thing to get a chance to be, uh, be used up a little bit. It's pretty saucy. All right, now is she going to activate immediately? No. No shot that she takes damage here, right? No. Does not seem to be the case. Fair enough. Okay, that could have gone better off the bat, but you know what? We take what we can. That went better than I expected it to. That also went better than expected. Not my best fight in the world, but it's not the worst thing either. Damn, she's doing a lot of damage. Fair enough.
she's not really giving me any of the attacks that I normally say are like perfect for this fight. Could be better, but it's not the worst thing either. There we go. Second phase. Love to see it. I don't know if that trade was worth it, but sure, it happened. Oh, okay, fair enough. I don't know, does the blade do just natural uh, black blade um, without doing the, uh, the buff in this case? Or the buff. The uh the actual ash war by that. And she's dead. Love to see it. After countless hours of beating Melania into the dirt, she's finally lost all of her confidence. That's honestly so awesome. That is actually really fucking awesome. That is so nice to know. Damn, our character kind of looks, like, insanely tanky right now. Like, I always love looking at the Greaves on a, like, a, a melee character like this. Because they always look so much tankier. It's so cool. It does natural black flame, but not a lot. I mean, honestly, some is more than a lot in of itself. So I'm glad that it does. Which is going to be like a plus five. All right, we're about there, though. We're about done. I guess at this point, like, more health, maybe? More health, more strength, probably. I could do a little bit of, um... A little bit of what you call it, but I don't really care that much. It's probably not even worth it, so we're not we're not going to worry about it. A little bit of arcane. All right, crab. That buff. Is there like a genuine natural time that you can actually use Horalu's Earthshaker? Like, you could probably maybe fit it in somewhere on a Millennia fight, maybe? I'm assuming. Damn, we're kind of... You know what? Honestly, we are kind of shrekking her shit, aren't we? Damn, we really are kind of putting her in the grave. At least a little bit right now. Don't get me wrong, she does a lot, a lot of damage, but honestly, this is fine. Really expecting that waterfowl, Melania. There we go. Q. 
heal. We're good. Wonderful. Sidestep, sidestep. Big punch. Oh, right. I just remembered. This is two phases of two phases. Right, yeah. I, I should have remembered better. My bad. Does this do damage from here? No. No, it does not. Ah. Shit. Okay, there we go. Okay, stop doing that, Melania. Thank you. Meaty health bar. Love to see it. Do this. And we're on our way. Okay. Don't do it again, please. Ah. Fucking Melania. I could do this. This is fine. Honestly, this is fine. This is a completely doable fight. It's more than anything. She's just obviously incredibly tanky, right? Duh. Horse. Do I have any bleed grease? Somehow I've made it completely through this game without a zero ounce of bleed grease. Alright, well, in that case, we're just going to go into pure melee strats, fuck it. And by pure melee strats, I mean we might do some dragon breath, but we'll see. There we go. We're fine. Let's go ahead and do it this way. Right, I gotta remember that that does not stagger. I do have to remember that doesn't actually stagger. A little annoyed, but sure, whatever. Okay, this is actually working pretty well. This is fine. This is actually pretty reasonable. I'm gonna rebuff. Okay, fine. A little annoyed that I wasted the poise break, but sure, whatever. Yeah. 
Ross Proc. A little surprised, no Frost Proc, but sure, whatever. Actually, very surprised, no Frost Proc. Again, really annoyed by how many things whiffed there. But sure, whatever. I don't know why I'm throwing suddenly in broad daylight, but I sure am. Yeah, that's about right. Fair enough. We were doing pretty good there. It was pretty darn good. Again, the one thing we're probably missing right now would be more frost procking. So I'm going to go ahead and re-equip the frost proc, so that way we can actually do it. At this point, I kind of wish I had removed the other shit from my hotbar, but we'll see. No, exactly. Now that I'm actually good at the game, I gotta make sure that I, uh, I throw in broad daylight. Honestly, I'm having a really good time with it. There's definitely no question about that in this case, Dark Souls. Dodged. A little annoyed that all those whiffs happened in broad daylight, but sure. Okay, there we go. We're good. I don't know quite why I made that mistake there, but sure, whatever. That was awfully weird. Huh. That was actually very weird. I'm I'm kind of surprised. Normally that um that should have kind of been a bit of a non-issue there. What do you think, chat? Do I just give myself a uh, crag blade just for the hell of it? Because I kind of feel like giving myself crag blade. Like, yeah, I kind of want to give myself crag blade. This would probably go a lot fucking smoother with crag. I think I can do it regardless. Yo, what's up, bird? How you doing today, bud? That's fair.
All right. Am I good at Elden Ring? I might be a little bit good at Elden Ring, yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie to you on that one. I might indeed be somewhat okay at this game. One would consider me to be relatively proficient in this game. Get fucking erect, put in the dirt as you belong. I did the wrong attack there, and that was my bad. There we go, second phase. Actually, never mind, apparently second phase is now. All right, champs back in town. Fair enough. There we go. Good enough. Ah, yes, of course. It's funny, I did press the button to roll, but sure, okay. Big meaty chunks. Damn, I can't rebuff. All right. Uh, okay. All right. I guess we're going to finish off this phase. All right, there's first phase. Everybody ready for another round of Melania? This time with even less ability to actually own her? Oh boy, howdy. Here we go. Chug. Felt like it might have been a little early to chug there, but whatever. Really expected the waterfowl there. No waterfowl. Okay. Buffless. Let's rebuff. Again, where she does this shit, where she just won't waterfowl for the life of her.
Little surprise, no follow-up. It's fine. That was really stupid on my part. That was also really stupid on my part. That was actually honestly as bad as stupid as I could have been for the entirety of the rest of the match. So one flask and a dream, pretty much. Dodged. There we go, cool. I could reapply my buff right now, but I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm just going to move along. And that is a fucking millennium put in the grave. We love to see it. Ooh, okay, all right. It could have been hard. Like, well, no, I'm, 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 I'm griefing in broad daylight. No, that was hard. <laughs> that was hard. It just, it could have been worse. I guess. Thank you, thank you. I feel good. A little bit more endurance, I guess, if we want to. And a little bit more strength. Sure, why not? Yeah, honestly, that is probably one of the biggest things that you just gotta do with Melania, is hit and run tactics. Melania is not really a very fair boss fight, in like any capacity. Like, I would never, ever bullshit anyone and be like, oh yeah, no, she's super easy, you should definitely... Like, don't worry about it. No, that's dumb. That's fucking goofy-ass logic. No, she is a annoying, hard boss fight. She's not fair. She's not friendly. And... Yeah. Yeah, that's about it. Like, that's the end of the equation on that one. Alright, Golden. I'm gonna flame grant me here, but I'm not gonna worry about doing the full buff. All right, away we go. Let's see how this goes. Here's hoping nothing but great times. A little annoyed that that happened the way that it did, but sure, whatever. Again, it just wasn't worth it doing that. Well, that's unfortunate that she'd do that to me. It's a really bad start, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, honestly, like, I have gotten a very bad job for this right off the bat.
God, yeah, I am not doing good here. This is a really piss poor job on my part. If I don't get through the fight with the amount of health that I have here, I'm just gonna go ahead and like reset. Cause this has been really bad. Like I'm 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 playing like not well. Which doesn't make sense in the least bit. Sure. That hit. I don't really feel like that actually hit. I'm just bullshitting right now because, you know, sometimes you got to deal with it. I'm, uh, I'm going to take two seconds here, folks. Alrighty, there we go. Alright, here's hoping better luck this time. You know what? Would it be worth it to craft these sw uh, these swarm pots? Like, I guess I could do it. Worst case, it means absolutely nothing in the grand scheme of things. I'm also not really using this for what it's worth. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. I think it's fine. Let's just go for it. Alright, there we go. Buffed up, and we're going. A little annoyed that that happened the way that it did, but sure, whatever. Okay, there we go. Time for a crit. Never mind, apparently no crit. Finally, my crit! It exists! Funny enough, I was kind of assuming rolling could work like that, but I wasn't sure. Go, rebuff. Go, wonderful. Next phase. Okay, 
Well, I got away with it. Yay. Little things that count. Big meaty smash. Hey, wonderful crit. It didn't, you know, count for anything, unfortunately. A lot of staggers, luckily, which is nice. Oh, that was a little fast. Phase transitions, wonderful. All right, fair enough. Apply buff. All right, there we go. Indeed, Pastor. And put her in the grave. Chug. Wonderful. Yeah, it probably would have pissed me off at least a little bit to die there. At least a little bit. That's fine. That's okay. That's okay. Hey, put her in the grave. <laughs> Ooh, fuck you, you stinky bitch. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> I've never, you know what, honestly, Ronnie, my queen, come on out of the grave. It's time to, uh, it's time to sleep on this bitch. <laughs> It's time to let Meladia know that she got cucked for a fucking doll. <laughs> the run is over, my friends. We love to see it. God, I'm so happy right now. Not as happy as, like, after a genuinely good run, the but is over, I see. pretty happy. We're going to let her do her thing. I don't see a reason not to.
I do solemnly swear to every living being and every living soul. Now cometh the age of the stars. It is absolutely okay, Star. Don't even worry about it. I would say in this case, it's kind of where that personal responsibility of where, uh... In this case, you you understand the Celeste runs a little bit better, but some other folks here should probably let me know if they want to see things that are certainly clipped. Um, you know, the ones that are a little bit more avid to Elden Ring. But otherwise, I'll probably make a couple of my own, if if there's anything worth clipping. I'll be honest, this run kind of ended up being something I don't really feel like clipping a whole lot of in the first place. There wasn't really much of interest on the, uh, the general whole of it. This run really should have only been, like, a one-segment well, kind of thing. Shall we? But, again, mistakes made. Aw. My fair consort eternal. You know, for what it's worth, the ending does ring a little bit better than I first gave credit for. That ending, I think, is actually a pretty solid ending to end up with. No, we're not doing any more of that. I'm so, so, so tired of it. I do not ever, ever want to see that many Melanias in the same room at the same time ever again. Genuinely never. But folks, that has officially been Oops All Millennials. Uh, thank you so much for joining me here. Um, it has been... Mildly fun. Um, I'm not going to lie, like, of anything I could have possibly done for a run in this case... It really, again, it really comes down to the simple fact that I think if I hadn't swapped around the key items in this case, I think it probably would have been a little bit more bearable. Any percent of this category would have been fun, I think. But doing the entire game and having to do multiple, 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 multiple key checks didn't really do it much favor at all. So, it is what it is. The run is done. We're on to our next time. But I'm going to go ahead and leave this on a high note here. We're going to go ahead and take Mr. Mikola here. And, uh, well, chat, we're going to go ahead and throw him to the dumpster. As any good run deserves to do, it deserves to die. So, chat, kiss Mikola goodbye. And kiss this entire run goodbye. Anyways, thank you again for joining me here tonight. I hope you had a wonderful rest of your night. Take great care of yourselves. Um, I don't know what we're doing next necessarily, but I have a couple ideas in mind, and uh, it should be fun. You know, it should be fun. So, either way, I'll see you all later, and... Just get some, some some good rest. Take care of yourselves. All that magic. Okay? Alright. See you later, folks. Thank you, Star. Take care.